Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Gaming, I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to tell you this game's with their time and bandwidth. Today's game is Pseudo Regalia, part Prince of Persia, part Mario 64, and starring a thick bunny goat lady. Is Pseudo Regalia worth leaping into? Let's find out. Pseudo Regalia is a 3D platforming game with Metroid elements, where instead of focusing on combat upgrades, platforming upgrades are the name of the game. You play as Sybil, some kind of bunny girl goat lady who wears a shirt but is allergic to pants, who is attempting to collect 5 keys to free the soul of the castle. In order to do that, she's going to need to jump, wall jump, wall run, slide, and more across a ton of complex platforming room puzzles. The game is structured like a pure Metroid game, meaning no leveling or gear here. The world is split into almost a dozen different zones, and you'll need to find pathways via platforming to move through them and uncover their secrets. These secrets often include upgrades to Sybil, such as health and so on. Along the way, you'll start gaining power-ups, which predominantly are focused around platforming. You'll start with just jumping and grabbing ledges, but soon can do a slide, a ground pound into a high jump, wall jumps, sliding long jumps, wall runs, and more. By the end of this game, you are putting the Prince of Persia to shame. You're going to be doing a lot of room based 3D platforming. The rooms often filled with specific small mechanics you'll need to learn as you try and progress through them, such as bubbles that give you a big burst of speed, and switches that will move platforms around. You also need to gather keys Zelda style to unlock doors that often contain more upgrades or shortcuts between zones. There is combat here, though it's highly de-emphasized. You have a series of basic attacks, which power up as you gain meter, and you can burn that meter to heal yourself similar to Hollow Knight. Enemies generally don't put up much of a fight should you be good at sliding away, though the ranged ones are pretty obnoxious. And lastly, the aesthetic is distinctly N64, with low frame rate animations on characters and objects, a chunky atmosphere, and delightfully mellow MIDI soundtrack. And really not much more to say about Pseudo Regalia before we jump to the pros and cons. Suffice to say, it's a retro looking but modern playing Metroid S 3D platformer with some light combat. So what do I like about Pseudo Regalia? Well, the platforming here is exceptionally good, with the game giving you abilities at just the right clip for you to master them, and their combination making you feel like a god when you tackle a particular challenge or sequence break. Additionally, making a 3D Metroid but with a focus on platforming upgrades is a fantastic and unique idea, and means returning to a puzzle room to conquer it with your new moves is unbelievably satisfying. And lastly, I really dig this game's aesthetic, and I'm not talking about bunny chick's thighs. Well, not entirely. A lot of indie games are aping off PS1 and Quake era, but nobody seems to do N64, and the low frame rate characters paired with the blocky, hazy atmosphere screams N64 nostalgia in the right ways. When it comes to the bad, the lack of any map, compass, or hints as to where you should go is maddening, especially since the world opens up too early, and the levels aren't smartly designed to guide you to where you need to go next to get that next upgrade. And speaking of levels, the game is very unclear about whether you have the moveset needed to solve a string of rooms. Often I'd get three quarters of the way through a very difficult platforming puzzle only to hit a spot impossible with my current skill set, meaning I'd either have to die or go all the way back, and that never felt good. And lastly, the combat is pretty mediocre and never really engaging. And since that isn't the focus, I'm surprised there's as much as there actually is, especially those annoying ranged enemies that ruin your platforming fun. As you know, I rate games here on a three-point scale, must play, maybe consider, and don't bother. And I think in its current state, Pseudo Regalia is a maybe consider, but it's absolutely a hidden gem. And man, I really, really wanted to give this game a must play. But the frustration that comes from the game's world and level design is just too glaring to overlook. The platforming here is phenomenal, paired with some absolutely divine controls, but the game surrounding it needs to reach that same level of polish. If you aren't bothered by a lot of backtracking, and getting lost in this kind of game doesn't bother you, you should still absolutely pick this one up as its fundamentals are exceptional, but I'm really hoping for a quality of life patch that will elevate this game to where it belongs as one of the best indie platformers I've played. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Have you played Pseudo Regalia? Have you heard of it? Given its price, I do still recommend it if you have any affinity for this era of platforming, as long as you know the downsides when you get into it. But let me know in the comments what you think, and then go out there and give this one a look.